Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another beautiful day here. We're going to be talking about Season of Discovery Phase 3 being launched. Alrighty, so now to get into it here, now in order to prepare yourself here for the next expansion that we got rolling on here in Phase 3, I'm going to give you a few tips. Now, I'm going to give you a more generic advice, first of all, and then I'm going to give you two different completely separate versions of how to level 250 the fastest and the most efficiently. So to start it out here, these are some flight paths that you should have, which are going to be a little bit hard to get to or be contested by the time that the new phase comes out. The first thing here is that you want to get the flight path in the Blasted Lands if you're Alliance. Otherwise, if you're a Horde, the Swamp of Sorrows, you have one right here as well, which is much closer as the Sunken Temple is right over here. Next is you want to make sure that you have the Lock Medan if you are Alliance. I don't know about Horde. I think Horde doesn't actually get one until they're in the Burning Steps, actually. I could be wrong, though. You can leave it in the comment if I'm wrong with that one. Next here, you want to make sure that you have the Tanneris Flight Path. It's right here. And after that, you have the Desolus Flight Path, which is right here. And for a Horde, it is right here somewhere. I always forget where it is. Alrighty now, if you are a Sweat, what you're going to do is you're going to grab a level 39 character with one or two bars left to ding. Then you're going to park yourself in a major city or in for the full rested XP bars, which is 10 days, because that's going to be an entire one level and a half of rested XP, which is 200% extra XP, which is great. Next, if you have the sleeping bag quest completed, maybe you didn't turn in the last one, just so that way you can ding level 40, that's perfect. And make sure you have all of your student fodder, do not use it as there is a cap on your rested XP bar, so you won't actually get any benefit from it. Now, if you already have the sleeping bag quest turned in and you still have all your student fodder, that's fine too. Just make sure that you have a few easy quests to turn in to get you your level 40 ding, because when you get experience via quest, it doesn't actually affect your rested XP bar. Now, on release day, what you're going to do is you're going to get over to Iron Forge if you're Alliance, and you're going to get all the quests for Nomergon. Then you're going to run it, you're going to turn in all the quests, and that should get you to about level 41 and a half, give or take. Then you're going to get all the quests for Uldeman for Alliance. These are found in Iron Forge and in the Badlands. You're going to run it, and you're going to finish up quests. This should get you to about level 44, 45. Then what you're going to do is you're going to head over to Tenaris when you're at level 44, 45 with a good group, and you're going to get all the quests from the Shimmering Flats and from Tenaris to do Zulfarak. And then you're going to be doing Zolfarak until you're about level 48. Now, if you have a really good group and you're really confident, then at that point, I would head over to Desolus and you're going to go and collect all the quests. And then you're going to basically be doing Maradon until level 40. Now, the reason that we're doing it in this sequence exactly is because we don't really know what's in ZF yet as the loot table hasn't really been updated. And we don't know what's in Maradon yet as the loot table also has not been updated. Now, the reason that we're going to be doing it at this point is because a lot of your uh, pre-biz gear is probably going to be coming from ZF and Maradon. Um, maybe a few pieces from Older Man, but then again, we don't really know yet as the dungeon loot has changed since Classic and we don't have the new dungeon loot yet for these other two dungeons and those are a major, major source of gear for that mid to higher level in Classic. Now, moving on to your more casual or regular player here. Now, before the new phase comes out, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to complete the no more quests and not turn them in if you have not already. And the same thing goes for the Old Man quests. Now, there are quite a few chains for the Old Man quest lines, so you'll only be able to progress so far on all of them. However, that will cut out a little bit of time for you. And the day that phase three comes out, what you're going to do is you're going to run it really fast first, and then you're going to go ahead and turn in all the Old Man quests. You are going to go ahead and then just keep running Old Man over and over until you're level 44. You can also alternatively go do some quests in the Swamp of Sorrows or in Stranglethorn Vale or in Tanneris. Now there's a whole guide on this on Rested XP, the actual site, not the thing that you get from resting in inns. So you can also check that out as well if you wanna do that. Otherwise, what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna do Uldeman. You're gonna then at level 45, you're gonna go and do Zulfarak with the quests. And then after that, at level 49, maybe 50, you can go run a Maradon with the quests. And you can just follow the Rested XP guide if you don't want to do that at all. All right, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. I just want to keep it short, sweet, simple, and just easily digestible. So that way you guys can come back when you guys are ready for phase three. And we can just kick it all together. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out for now.